or hello. Welcome back to my Chanel. I hope you guys are staying cool wherever you are because here in New York, it is hot. <laughs> so as you saw by the title, today's video is going to be a Shein summer dress haul and I am very excited. But not only is this going to be a review and try on of the dresses, this is also going to be a styling video. This video is not sponsored. Shein, Shein, <laughs> Shein did give me these, blah, blah, blah. Shein did send me these dresses for free, but they're not paying me anything for this video. They did, however, give me a discount code. So you can use the code VESTALUBLOOD15 to get 15% off your next purchase with Shein. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So to start, this is the Shein Pop Sleeve Not Front Ruched Bust Bodycon Dress for $14. And I just thought this dress was super cute when I first saw it. And I leave all the sizes of everything I got down in the description box. I was so happy when I got this dress. It looked just like the picture. It is super comfortable. And one thing I was worried about was whether or not it would be see-through because lighter colored dresses, especially when they're on the cheaper side, tend to be more see-through. But, as you can see, this does not show anything. And I was pleasantly surprised by how the material felt. It's on the thicker side in terms of quality, and it's definitely higher quality than most other things that I've gotten from Shein. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart, it's stretchy, and of course I love to wear the sleeves off the shoulder, but you can also wear them resting on your shoulders as well. I love the puff sleeves as well as the tie in the front, but the tie is only for decoration, it doesn't actually tighten anything. Now for me, when I style something, I tend to just throw a bunch of things on top until it looks good, which is what I did here for this outfit. On top I have a cross skirt, which I got from the Unzi store, my underbust corset from Shein, and my earrings, chain belt, and harness are all from AliExpress, as are my shoes. <laughs> And if you haven't seen my latest video where I review these shoes as well as some sunglasses from AliExpress, I will leave it up in the cards. But I love how this harness goes super well with any strapless neckline, and I think it goes perfect with this dress. Now one thing I like to do when it comes to styling outfits is if I have a skirt like this that is a little on the short side, I put it over a dress. And that way I can still wear the skirt without worrying about showing too much, and it allows the dress underneath to peek out as well. Of course, the more accessories, the better. You know, some people say less is more, but I say more is more. I also had some simpler outfits here where I wanted to show more of the dress. For example, in this one here, I'm just wearing the harness and underbust corset. And you can also wear it without the underbust corset and just have the harness. And then I also tried it with this PVC bustier, which I got from AliExpress. And this is actually meant to be a top, but I like to use it as both an underbust corset and a top. And I just think that any colorful dress looks better with a black corset on top of it. So here I've paired it with a corset I got from either Wish or Amazon, I can't remember which, but I love how wearing something colorful like this under a black see-through corset really makes the corset pop, as well as shows off the details of the fishnet here and it just looks so cool. Next up, Pink. <laughs> now this is the Shein Lace Up Front Cold Shoulder Mesh Bodycon Dress for $18. And I know, I'm wearing pink. Shocking. <laughs> now when I first saw this dress, I just fell in love with it, which surprised me because normally all black is my go-to. But it was just so frilly and ethereal with the tulle all along the top. It just reminded me of a ballerina. And this dress fits me perfectly. But, unlike the last one, it does not have a lot of stretch to it. So it's definitely best to pay close attention to the size chart to get the right size. This is also very see-through. If you wear dark undergarments, it will definitely show through. And it is very form-fitting as well, and there are two layers of fabric. There is pink solid fabric underneath, and then there is a light pink tulle on top. This dress is super comfortable, and I love how girly and pretty it is. I also like that it has ruching up the back because that always makes my booty look good. <laughs> this dress does have adjustable straps, which is perfect, and I love the lace-up aspect in the front, which does not come laced, but it took me all of a minute to two minutes to do it myself. The ties were very, very long though, so I ended up cutting them, and I actually turned them into a matching choker to go with this dress. Now for the styling, I actually tried to keep it simpler with this outfit, simpler for me. 
I'm wearing a fishnet top underneath, which is actually a pair of fishnet tights, which I just cut a hole in the crotch to put my head through, and some holes in the toes for my fingers. It's just a super easy way to make a top. On top of the dress itself, I have one of my favorite PVC corsets from AliExpress, my moon earrings, which are also from AliExpress, as are my shoes. And my o-ring choker is from Coco Chaos. Now when I was styling this one, I found it hard because I didn't want to cover up the lace-up detail in the front, as well as all the fluffy tulle on the shoulders, so in order to keep both of those things visible, I just added a corset. And of course, you know me, Miss Matchy Matchy, I love matching all of my accessories, which is why the shoes, choker, and earrings are all silver and black. I was actually surprised by how much I like the fishnet underneath. I wasn't sure if it was going to work at first, but I ended up really, really liking it. So next up is the Shein Ruched Bust Lettuce Trim Butterfly Print Dress, and this was $9. Okay, when I first saw this dress, the song Black Butterflies Barbiana immediately popped into my head, and I was just so struck by how cute this dress was, and now this is one of my new favorite pieces of clothing ever. <laughs> It's just so comfy and cute. I've worn it as a nightgown, out as an outfit in public. I just feel like it's very versatile, comfortable, and it's so nice and stretchy, which just makes it my perfect outfit. This dress does have two layers. Underneath is a solid purple material, which gives it its beautiful color. And on top is a sheer mesh layer, which has the butterfly print. This dress is not see-through at all, which is awesome. And it also has adjustable straps. The only potential drawback to this is that it does look like something that you would wear to bed, but I think it's so cute that you can get away with wearing it every day. I love the subtle ruching in the bust as well because it helps give the illusion of a fuller bust for us smaller chested ladies. So when it came to styling this one, I had a lot of fun. I'm wearing a beautiful lace duster on top that I found at a Goodwill, and on top of the dress I'm wearing a harness from Curiani Clothing. Now for shoes, I just had to wear my favorite Demonia platform boots. They're so amazing. The earrings are from a shop that went out of business, unfortunately, and my custom choker is from AliExpress. You can order a choker to say whatever you want, I think as long as it's under nine letters. I love adding harnesses and corsets to outfits because there's something really comforting to me about wearing them. It almost feels like I'm getting a hug, if that makes sense. And now for the last but not least dress. Last but not least, least but, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> last but not least. This is the Yubasa Sheer Mesh Lantern Sleeve Bodycon Dress. This is $17 and I got this in the color Purple Pastel. Now, if you guys saw my huge summer Shein haul, you've already seen this dress, but I wanted to include it in this video as well just to add another outfit. I love the color of this dress. It is a little big on me, especially in the bust area. I probably could have sized down, and I just love the sleeves. They are my favorite part of this dress. And I love that you can wear the sleeves both off and on the shoulder to change up the look of the dress. Now, a few things I wasn't a big fan of when it comes to this is that it doesn't really have a lot of stretch to it, and it's also made out of material that wrinkles fairly easily. So this is another dress where you'd have to pay attention to the sizing chart. So when it comes to styling this dress, I had a couple of different ideas, but I couldn't really decide on one. So I'll let you guys decide what the best one is. First, I'm wearing this really cute mermaid bra from Hot Topic with the PVC bustier from AliExpress underneath. And if you guys haven't seen my Hot Topic haul, I will leave it up in the cards. I'm also wearing a spiky choker from Dress Lily, my moon earrings from AliExpress, and goth gladiator sandals, also from AliExpress. I love the mermaid scales on this top so much, and I was actually surprised by how comfortable this outfit was. But I also felt like something was missing from it, so I added my chain belt from AliExpress. So this is another option to change up the outfit. And another option was adding this mesh skirt on top, which I found from a Goodwill. I felt very gypsy goth in this outfit, and then I was performing some magic here. The sun was at the perfect spot to make it look like I was holding it in my hand, so I had some fun posing with it and being silly. But I loved how the skirt looked over the dress because it was just sheer enough for the bottom of the dress to still show through. And then finally, I just added my faux leather skirt from Forever 21 on top, and I liked how the skirt was just short enough so that the purple hem of the dress was peeking out just a little bit. 
So let me know which one of these styling options was your favorite down in the comments. And that is it for my Shein summer dress try on haul styling video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh my lord. I'm sweating so much. There is no AC in my house and I have never felt so shiny in my life. I'd rather be shiny. I'd actually rather not. But thankfully, I have my collection of hand fans to help keep me a little cooler. So we have officially hit 43,000 subscribers here on YouTube, which is amazing. So to celebrate, I thought a fun idea for a video would be to let you guys pick my outfits. And if you'd like to participate by submitting an outfit idea, just be sure to comment on the latest post in the community tab here on my channel. It has a big picture that says you choose my outfits on it. Or you could also DM me on Instagram. All you have to do is just let me know what the outfit is in detail that you would like me to wear. And the outfit ideas can include accessories, wigs, shoes, anything you can think of. I will only be using things that I already have in my closet, so it may be a challenge, but I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with. And if I get too many cool suggestions, I just may have to make a second video. And don't be afraid to throw in some color. I do own it. I just don't wear it a lot on YouTube. I do think the only color I don't own when it comes to wigs or clothing is yellow. So maybe avoid that one. I cannot wait to see all the outfit ideas and inspiration you guys are going to come up with, and I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Totally forgot to fix my lipstick before I started filming.